In bacteria, the smallest of organisms, diffusion alone can introduce sufficient amounts of oxygen to support the metabolic reactions. In larger cells, such as protists, diffusion must be supplemented by the movement of cilia, because as water is swept past the cell, oxygen-poor water is removed and replaced with oxygen-rich water to increase the rate of diffusion. Beyond this, an organism is forced to increase the surface area of gas exchange as its oxygen demands increase further. A structure which forms an outward extension into water to increase the surface area is known as a gill, as opposed to an internal pocket which forms a lung. Gills can be with, contained within the body cavity, but water must be continually pumped over these gills in order to perform sufficient levels of gas exchange. So in bivalves, the gills are located inside the shell, but a continuous stream of water coming in through the inhalant siphon and leaving through the exhalant siphon must uh, be created. In crayfish, the internal gills are attached to limbs within the cephalothorax in a branchial cavity, and the movement of limbs creates the flow of water, which brings oxygen-rich water over the gills. External gills, such as those found in larval amphibians, are more vulnerable to damage, and as they become more highly branched, they will create resistance to water flow. And so the movement of the animal is needed in order to allow oxygen-rich water to come in contact with the gills. Otherwise, gills are surrounded by water which has depleted levels of oxygen.